Good day to everyone! Before we start our discussion on a particular topic, I'm giving you first this food for thought. A journey to a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, before we go further, let's start with a review first on addition of integers. I hope you can still recall its rules. Are you ready? First problem. What's the answer? It's negative 13. Next. What's the answer? Negative 2. Next. It's 7. Next problem. The answer is 9. Last one. The answer is negative 24. Congratulations if you got it all correct. Okay. Now this time we're going to take up factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. I am going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to factor polynomials with common monomial factor. Are you ready? Let's start with a very simple example. Factor 12x cubed plus 27x squared. Okay, what's the first step? Determine the GCF or the greatest common factor. Remember, the greatest common factor is the greatest number or integer that divides evenly into all number with zero remainder. Okay, let's go back with the problem again. 12x cubed plus 27x squared. Let's focus on the constant or the numerical coefficient of x cubed and x squared, and that is 12 and 27. Let us use the prime factorization to get the GCF of 12 and 27. 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3, and 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Now take a look. 3 is common to 12 and 27. So therefore, 3 is the greatest integer that divides 12 and 27. Okay, let's go back again with the problem. But this time, let's focus on x cubed and x squared, which is the literal coefficient of 12 and 27. So, in expanded form, x cubed is equal to x times x times x x squared is equal to x times x. Now take a look. x, they have here two the same factors and multiplying this together, x times x is equal to x squared. So therefore, x squared is the greatest expression that divides x cubed and x squared. Or just simply get the expression with the lowest exponent and that is x squared. Okay, so the greatest common factor of the two terms is 3x squared. Okay, next step. Let's again go back with a given problem. 12x cubed plus 27x squared. You are going to express each term of the given polynomial as the product of the greatest common factor and its other factor. So 12x cubed is equal to 3x squared multiplied by 4x. 27x squared is equal to 3x squared multiplied by 9. But how do we obtain 4x? How do we obtain 9? Okay, you just simply divide each term of the given polynomial by their GCF. So 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 x cubed divided by x squared is equal to x. Remember the quotient rule? When you are going to divide expression with the same basis, you simply subtract their exponent. So 3 minus 2, we have here 1. Okay? So 4 times x is equal to 4x. Next, 27 divided by 3 is 9. Then x squared divided by x squared is equal to 1. 9 times 1 is 9. Okay? So next step is you are going to factor out the greatest common factor. Our GCF is 3x squared and that will be multiplied by the sum of the other factors. The first factor on the other factor is 4x and the second one is 9. So the factors of 12x cubed plus 27x squared are 3x squared and 4x plus 9. Then check your answer by applying distributive property. Your answer is 3x squared multiplied by 4x plus 9. So, by distributive property, 3x squared multiplied by 4x, the result is 12x cubed. 
So this time, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. x squared times x is equal to x cubed. Remember, again, the product rule, you are going to add the exponent when you multiply expression with the same basis. So x squared times x, we have here x cubed. The next, 3 times 9, that's 27, x squared times 1, so that's x squared. So if the product is the same as the given polynomial, then therefore you have the correct factors. Okay, thank you.